Alright y'all, I'm going to show you how to build my aquarium, how I built it. I built my regular base here on the center, on an ocean platform, metal ocean platform. To cover up your whole gap like you see it behind here, I have empty platforms so you can see what it looks like with nothing to touch it. This is a, a ocean platform, both of these are, without you doing anything to it. Now, you can put ceilings here to cover this gap if you want to do something like I did here. So if you want to build build on it, you can see about this whole thing. To cover just the water part itself is 200 ceilings, just to cover the water. <coughs> As you can see, you can put metal over here on these outsides. Like you, over there, you can see that there's none. And you can do that here. But when you cover this middle, there's ladders on the inside of these platforms. So if you're to fall in the water, go in the water, or whatever, the only way to get out of the water is through these four ladders here. So you have a ladder there, ladder there, ladder there. There's a ladder here. So you go in the water. If you just fall in the water, you could go to the ladder on the inside and go up. So if you were to sealing off this inside here, like I did here, the whole thing, and you want to come in through the bottom, you need to leave two squares at each one of uh, these middle things. Like I think it would be right here on this one. Yeah. So right here, there'd be a ladder. You see it says climb down. So you need this square and this square open to use that ladder. You can still build around it. You know, you can build a wall around here or whatever. And you could still come up inside of your base if you didn't want to come up outside. But I mean, I don't ever come through down here. Now for my aquarium that I'm showing y'all, I use an ocean platform. I went one ceiling, one ceiling in on the inside all the way around and I made a swimming pool. So these walls, you have to use regular walls. You can't use those big ass four walls, whatever they're called, the large walls. You cannot use those. So you have to use regular walls. And I believe, yeah, you can go down three. So you can go down three walls, but you see how I put these ceilings down here? This is what I call my swimming pool. So I put my eels in here, sharks can go in here, bassos can fit in here. But your squids and your mosas can't fit in here. Um, so you can go two walls down right here and put your ceiling to go all the way across here and then you can go three walls down because you can go one wall below that which you will need to do and I'll explain that now. Okay. I'm going to need to go to the outside of my aquarium and pull. Oh. Right here I'll jump down so you can see. Hopefully nothing tries to fuck me up. I don't have nothing on me I don't think. Yeah, just armor. Okay I'm going to jump in. Look around, make sure you don't fuck me up. Okay, as you can see here, <coughs> you have to build to build this from the bottom. So you have to, it has to be pretty deep, as you can see. And it has to be able to go down, like all these down here, I, my complete bottom base of my aquarium is foundations. You need to have these foundations because you only can bend, like I said, from the ceilings, you can only build down three. Well, with these regular foundations, look, you can obviously build up extremely tall. And then you can come up here, and you'll be able to, uh, see there's the three walls right there from the swimming pool itself, so right here. One, two, three. There's three walls down. And if you look, my pool goes inside of that. See? On some areas. On some areas, it, it touches it. Like we'll come look at over here. Over here, it touches it. So, if you want, as you can make, see, you can make it. I could have made it bigger, but if you... You can also see, like, see, you can put your shit right through here, so there's no problem doing that. See, it's how it's not completely evened up with the pool. Very close, but, I mean, it ain't like that's easy to do. But, as you see, it's, this is a very expensive. It's a lot of metal. I recommend using metal in case there's any type of alphas around or anything like that. Maybe not play friendly. So, yeah, you're going to need to do foundations at the bottom. Sealants from the top. If you don't want to do the little swimming pool like I did, too, then you don't have to have the metal sealants at the bottom. But I'll show you another reason I like it, the swimming pool. Because if you look now, my aquarium is completely closed in. The entire aquarium is completely closed in. As you can see here, like nothing can harm you unless it comes from the top, above the water. Nothing can come from the bottom, this is all closed in. And I have a trapdoor here. Trapdoor here, goes directly into my aquarium. So you can come in here, close the door completely boxed in underwater breeding aquarium it's completely safe 
and you don't need oxygen because if you get the big turtle from Genesis, which I named Squirtle, they put off the oxygen bubbles that you see here. So, you know, being how deep it is, like, oh man, I'm going to drown, I need scuba to breathe stuff. No, not anymore. I'm, I got you. This is what you need to build this right here. You can look, it's completely safe. You see my oxygen bar going down. Let it go down. And then watch my oxygen bar now. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, there it goes. There you go. See? Oxygen bar. Not going down, not doing anything. So this turtle right here, I'll pull it up so you can see its actual name. I always forget the name of them. Mega Chelan, whatever the hell they're called. I just named it Squirtle. And this also you don't need to feed. It produces seeds and flowers and mushrooms. It'll, it'll also eat these seeds itself for food. So you really don't have to feed it. So you just throw it out here and you got free oxygen. And I got the troughs at the bottom <coughs> to feed water tanks. You know, I got five troughs down here. So when I'm uh, raising babies, the reason you also you don't see a lot of dinos out is because I don't leave anything out unless I'm breeding or raising a baby. So, like I said, I have my friend here. You see, he's, uh, he bred my Exmosas. He's raising the Exmosa. I got the turtle because it feeds itself and it's completely boxed in so nothing can harm it. It makes red flowers so I can throw that into my beehive so I always have honey. Which my beehive is right over there as you can see. Uh, that's my friend's wire. That took her to get pregnant by a reaper yesterday so that ain't mine. But yeah, see, uh, I don't have no dinosaurs out at all. I got some eggs. This is my incubation room. I highly recommend setting one up like this. I like closing everything in so it's safe because I do a lot in this game. I don't I'm not the type of person you ever see sitting at my base. I do a lot of taming, I do the artifacts, I do bosses, I do a lot of the hard taming. I do the basilisks, I got a bunch of the new dinosaurs, breeding pairs, uh, reapers, basilisks. You know, just the stuff that's a little bit of a task. But as you can see, the only thing I got, I got my cupid, my shine horn, my aberration just for light. Oh, uh, look, see, my, my trophy just finished. So that's the only reason she was in here, because she was... Uh, finishing growing. Now she's finished. Yeah, but yeah, see, I don't leave any dinosaurs out. So how they prevent that too? Leave a crowd pod. If someone, this isn't a, this is an official PVE server. That's why you can see it's so big. Obviously, you couldn't do anything like this in PvP. Uh, but yeah, so people can still not like you. You know, they can try to kite dinosaurs to you or whatever. But when you have everything crowd potted, there's offline prevention. If you, so, you could also have your stuff pa on passive. And it don't matter if they kite stuff to you because you have offline damage prevented on PVE. So, uh, but you'll still be having to feed them out of your troughs. And that means every time you're trying to play Ark, you're going to have to spend most of your time filling up fucking troughs to feed dinosaurs that are just sitting there. So, I mean, I recommend you going and making cryopods. And if you ain't raising a baby, throw that motherfucker in the fridge. Make it cryopods, cryopods. And with having to go do meat runs all the time. Look at this. I got a trough filled up because I don't have nothing out. These troughs, these tech troughs last forever. I mean, but look, I got five crawl fridges with a bunch of shit in there. I mean, I got tons of dinosaurs. Those are, that's my empty one mostly. But look, I mean, I got tons. Almost all of my crawl paws are full. This one's just nothing but babies. I mean, crawl fridges. All right, yeah, but look at this. This is my trade one. So it ain't like you can't have a hundred, bunch of dinosaurs just crawl upon them and then they're gaining levels while they're in there it's just like you sleeping in, the, in, the, in this tech in this tech sleeping pod which you unlock from rockwell boss you lay in here and i watch on the bottom down there about where you see where i level up my food water all that's that look it's like i'm in a crawl pod in the crawl fridge i'm gaining the levels right now experience so that's exactly what would happen to your dinosaur when you crawl pod and throw it the crawl fridge so not only are you not having to feed this motherfucker you're helping it level up too so I mean that's another another reason to just have your shit crawl up. People can't kite shit to it to hurt anything. Your shit can't just like glitch through the map. I mean no stupid shit can happen when you do that. So I mean it's just a safer way of protecting you, saving you time, protecting your dinosaurs. So say you want to go tame stuff, say you want to go do some artifacts. All you gotta do is crawl pod all your shit and leave, and you literally don't have anything to worry about. Nothing can starve when it's in a crawl pod in the crawl fridge. So you have no worries. Nothing can come attack your base and shit when you're on PVE and you're not there. I mean, you don't have no dinosaurs out, so it's legitimately, it's all all safe bets and it's the only thing that makes sense. And the only thing you need to run your cryo fridge is gasoline and a generator. So I mean, it ain't like it's expensive. I mean, if you're building this aquarium, you can do all that because that's an expensive ass aquarium to make. It ain't like you're gonna be some new player and make this. I mean, you can. 
I mean, getting seen with pace and making raw metal into ingot is all you need to make this. But I mean, that's a that's a lot of work with a fucking pickaxe and hatchet if you don't have, you know. So you're probably gonna be far along. I mean, wh why else would you need something this big? You'd be raising mosses and squids, you know. So I mean, uh, yeah. But even when at a low level, you can make crowd pods though. I'll show you what it costs to make them in a replicator. But I uh, understand if you're new to starting off, you can't do this. But you can go to an obelisk. And you can make crawl pods there, and they unlock early, like level 50 or something like that. So you can unlock them very easily. Here's what it costs. 10 crystal, 15 fiber, 5 hide, 2 metal, 4 oil, and 8 polymer. Like, come on, you can make that. If you have 4 dinosaurs, that don't cost you nothing. If you have 50 dinosaurs, then you can definitely get all that stuff easy. Because if you have 50 dinosaurs that can't get you supplies, then I don't know what the hell you're doing anyway. And then the cryo fridge is more expensive, but you can hold 72 cryopods in there. 72 in each one of them. So, I mean, 25 crystal, 15 electronics, 225 metal, 60 polymer. Both pretty cheap. And you can make them both inside of an obby. So, if you don't want to have the replicator unlocked or anything like that. What's going on, uh, Devil Kid? How are you? So, yeah, I mean, that's another way to think about it. But if you are trying to breed anything big or on PVE and you want to help the server, oh, uh, what's up, Rain? Yeah, dude, I'm trying to, I was showing people how to do the aquarium and just explaining how to have an easier life in Ark, man. You haven't seen my aquarium, have you, Rain? Have you seen it yet? I'll show you that bitch right now. Uh, but yeah, I was just explaining to people how to do it because uh, to beta, make a 100% safe pen, and then like when say you're say you're breeding squids and you have your fucking egg incubating, that egg has to incubate in water where they where they popped out at, right? Well, in PVE, people are still dicks, dude. They'll go and take your fucking egg or try to do something to fuck it up. Okay, that's dope, right? So I mean, there's a lot of dumb shit that can happen, but building like this. I have my gate unlocked because I don't have anything. No one can do anything inside of my in my aquarium right now, but take food from my trough. So I don't have anything in here but a damn turtle that feeds itself and DBZ, one of the guys in here's baby that he's raising. And the troughs are unlocked, and I told him if he's raising something there, he needs to fill the trough. So I mean, if his stuff dies, it's on him. You I know, mean, letting him use my aquarium. But yeah, so see all this down here, these are all foundations. This is touching the bottom of the ocean. So you're going to have to have that to build up. Because building down from your ocean platform, you can only go down three. And this first set of ceilings will only can be placed two walls now. So in here you're going to have, like right here, this is just two walls. Two, that's just two walls and then the ceiling. But on the outside, if you look... It lets you go down three, but you can't place a ceiling in the third one. I don't understand that. I don't get it, but that's R. If you see here, it's three. So there's my ceilings from my swimming pool. There's a third one that drops. All of these walls right here are all connected from the from the foundations way down here. Every single one of them is connected down here from the foundation. Yeah, see, I don't think you've seen this. I think you've seen my swimming pool, right? Not the actual aquarium. I could throw adult squids and mosses and breed them in this, dude. Completely safe, boxed in, and then having that turtle in there, you don't need a scuba tank, dude. So there's no way to have... There's nothing, anything in Ark that I've ever seen that makes it easier than to raise a dinosaur safely. Look at it. It's complete... My water cram is completely boxed in. Now watch, watch my oxygen bar too. I didn't even show you that. Watch my oxygen bar. I'm gonna go over here. Let it oxygen bar go down. Let it go down for a few. All right, you're seeing it's going down. Now watch. Look at that. Oxygen bar don't go down because when you have this badass turtle from Genesis, you don't have to have fucking oxygen when you're above it, dude. That's why you make it this big. You can throw the turtle at the bottom, 
throw all your fucking squids, moses out out here, breathe the shit out of them, crowd pot the adults, have all the babies in here, and you can come down here and you're gonna die of fucking starvation before you die of uh, suffocation. Die from drowning. And then down here, you, I got the troughs, but the tech troughs, just, I would have to open the distance too much, you know, it would use too much fucking element. So I'll just use the regular troughs down here. Completely boxed in, though, nothing can come in here, nothing can get out of here. You see, you got that little bitty crack up here, but nothing can happen from that. And then the other crack on here goes on the opposite side. I couldn't, I couldn't line it up completely evenly. I can't believe I got it so close now. See, this was a different spot that I was trying to open up to make sure I could get to the door. And my dumbass thought the door was over here instead of over here. <laughs> you can see right here, these are where all the ceilings are connecting from the bottom. So from the top, it doesn't look as fucking like big, the aquarium, but it's so deep. Yeah, but it's not even as wide or long as my pool. So yeah, uh, if y'all want to learn how to do anything else, I can teach y'all how to do anything. Whatever you want to do on Arctane Basilis, get pregnant by Reapers, uh, getting artifacts, doing certain bosses, better understanding of breeding, how to breed mutations, how to tame the new dinosaur, and this is all on an official server. Like I said, you can look. This isn't like I'm on one of those stupid ass modded servers where some loser just hits in a cheat code and spawns in a fucking dinosaur and hits tame. Nope. I've worked for all the shit that I've tamed, man. I ta I've been impregnated by like six reapers just during this small event that's been going on already in, less, in like a week. So, I mean, whatever y'all want to learn, I'm down to... I'll show you how. Y'all just let me know. Rain, I'm about to end my stream. If you want to hop in the game, we can do whatever.